up, YouTubers? Back to another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to look at a beer I've been uh, looking forward to. Glad to finally get to. Uh, it took me a little while to find it, but that is Clutch from New Belgians. And this is part of their Lips of Faith series, which are usually sort of uh, Belgian, mostly Belgian inspired, inspired beers. Uh, a lot of times they're sours, not always, but this one happens to be, as they call on the label, a dark sour ale. And it's called Clutch because they did in collaboration with the band, which I am a fan of. The, the label artwork, their logo is from the band. And this is a big 9% dark stout-like beer as well. So uh, let's get this thing cracked for about there being some uh, bottle variation on it. So uh, hopefully we've got a good bottle here. This is also going to be the first New Belgium beer that I've reviewed. So I have, uh, I did have a taste of this. At a, uh, at a party, um, but I had quite a few beers, so I didn't get a very, you know, accurate uh, opinion of it. But uh, pours, um, this is also straight out of the fridge, but it, it pours really black, about two fingers of light brown head. Uh, aroma, definitely getting more of the stout components. There's this like underlying sort of vaguely kind of like cherry-ish oaky tartness on the aroma. It's buried down in there beneath some nice kind of oatmeal, uh, roasty kind of dark fruits, some chocolate kind of notes that you typically get on a, a stout. Yeah, but buried in beneath you kind of get some oak, oakiness going. So I wonder if they just took stout through some oak barrels and got some nice sourness from whatever you know, bacteria, critters, bugs, whatever you want to call them, are living in there that kind of produce some, some sourness to it. But uh, let's dig in. Cheers. Okay, up front, I do, do, I do get some tartness. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a... It's not an overly tart beer, but there's definitely some tartness in this bottle. It's not just straight up stout. First sip, I get some of that, it kind of falls in the nose. The body seems lighter than I think the nose indicated. Just some of that sort of uh, mild, lactic, uh, acidic note up front. Vaguely kind of cherry, kind of uh, brighter fruits, kind of berry notes. Kind of that kind of tartness. Then it kind of goes into stout mode. But very briefly, it's very quick on the palate. Maybe it's too cold right now to drink it. I just pulled it out of the fridge, like I said. So probably we're gonna let this thing warm up, and then it finishes with actually quite a bit of uh, of an alcohol taste. I definitely feel that nine percent and taste it at the very end going down. Uh, as you can see, the head's just fizzling away on there as you expect. So you can tell there's some. It, it's more acidic than a, a normal stout because the that head's just about gone. Yeah, it definitely drinks lighter. That stout character is just kind of really buried at this point. Kind of some mild, kind of light chocolate, slight coffee notes. Definitely getting a lot of fruitiness though up front. Almost like stone fruits. So uh, yeah, maybe some, maybe there's some like Brett in there. I'm not really getting a whole lot of funk, but not all Brett produces a lot of funk. Uh, I'm gonna let this thing warm up and. Uh, We'll come back with some more tasting notes. All right, back with Clutch from New Belgium, their Lips to Face series. Let's sip on this one some more. Um, definitely more stout characters coming out. A lot more roasted notes, a lot of that more coffee comes into play. Don't get a whole lot of chocolate, but what I do notice is there's like definitely like a smokiness in there. Um, kind of get that burnt kind of smoky note. A um, bit more uh, oak tannins kind of come into play. The sourness kind of, your palate gets used to it more and it sort of fades to the background. But that alcohol note is still there, still really prominent and it's kind of distracting from the beer. Um, maybe if the beer had more mouthfeel, it, it might be more tolerable and more flavors going on, but it's kind of distracting because it, it drinks really, really light. And I was looking up on their website during the break that it's 80% stout blended with 20% 
dark, uh, sour dark ale. So that kind of makes sense that there's not a whole lot of sourness character. I, I kind of wish maybe they would have blended it a little differently, blended in more sourness. I don't know. Um, cause there's a good amount of heat on that 9%. So, uh, you know, hard to say how this beer would age, but as it is, I'm going to go with C plus on it. I, it just, it, it doesn't quite make it to that above average level. It's just kind of, it's an, it's, it's an okay beer. It's, it's something that I'll be happy to drink the rest of, but I was kind of hoping something for a little bit more, you know, a little bit more tartness. Um, and I've had a lot of 9% beers that don't drink like 9%. This one definitely, it drinks actually like a bigger beer because of that heat. So, and I don't know how well it's going to age to kind of age that alcohol notes out of it. So hard to say, but C plus for uh, clutch. It's uh, going to wrap it up until next time. Please comment and subscribe. Cheers.